Today on the show, we're discussing a new script added to the Red Dead Online game files, revealing mystery items and set coordinates and locations in game, plus what this means for the future of Red Dead Online, whether it's coming soon, and even some discussion on some of the striking similarities this new finding has to what players in GTA Online are experiencing and have experienced for the past few months. All of that and more today, so if you enjoy this video or just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. And before we jump in, I just want to say I hope you all are having a great weekend, and I hope you all had a good week. My buddy flew into town on Sunday, and I haven't seen him in a while, so it was awesome to be able to catch up with an old friend and hang out. And I gotta say, I really thought I would stay on top of work and be able to host a friend at the same time. When Outlaw Pass 5 released on Tuesday, I made the update video as I do every single week, and clearly the vast majority of players chatting online absolutely hated it. And so instead of sending myself into complete despair for the week, I instead ate my weight in fresh barbecue and Mexican, as that's what you do down here in Texas and maybe had one too many Coca-Colas on St. Patty's Day. I don't know, I don't really remember past 9 p.m. But now we're back in the saddle and we have a new finding currently in the game files at this moment. Rockstar Games insider and enthusiast TezFun2 has some interesting intel on a new game piece of content that could materialize in what at least I would think to be in the near future, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so let's break it down. Tez had to say the following. Rockstar added an empty script called Mystery Item Location in the Bounty Hunter update. There's not much info to specify other than a few variables for location data. The name suggests a script that would spawn several items across the map, similar to Animal Transformation. Not sure what would have been the purpose of said items, maybe to serve as easter eggs. I wouldn't call it cut content since it could very much arrive in the next update or in a future update. Alright, so first I think we should set the distinction that this is in fact different and separate from the mystery vouchers we get with each Outlaw Pass. Those are almost always a coupon of some sort, and Rockstar really tries to make it out to be a much bigger deal than it really is by including it one pass early and only revealing what it actually is to players when the next Outlaw Pass releases. New players get to think it's some ominous reward that's so special and that's why it lurks in your benefits section for months on end before its identity is actually revealed, but no. In fact, like Tez said, this is a script for the game to start spawning items all across the map, and he said that there are a few parameters for locations of these items. I would guess another way to put it is that these are set coordinates for these items, and I'm not sure if anyone really is super involved with GTA Online right now. I don't really play it much at all anymore. Those days are long over for me. But these mystery items actually seem very similar to the treasure chests and hidden caches spread across Los Santos in GTA Online. There are, I think, 100 unique locations for these chests in that game's online world, and my understanding is that they change daily. The reward is $15,000. Maybe that value has changed since the Cayo Perico heist update, but that's what it was week one when I first heard about it. And basically, it's just a small side activity where if you pursue it and collect these caches, you can make a little extra money for something fairly straightforward. Go to its location, collect what's in the chest. Nothing else seems to really be needed here. You know, I think it's always a good idea to look at GTA to see what types of activities Rockstar may end up bringing to Red Dead Online. If all of those business DLCs in GTA weren't so successful, I would imagine the roles in this game and possibly even the content itself would be different. For example, the Trader and Moonshiner delivery missions where you just drive a wagon for minutes on end to a destination that's far away. I'm not entirely sure if the same interest being a delivery boy in GTA Online would translate exactly over into Red Dead, where you don't have the fast supercars, planes, helicopters, flying bikes, jetpacks, stuff like that, but Rockstar included that content anyway because it worked in their previous title. But either way, since we only have limited information on these mystery item locations, as Tez said in his post, it's not clear if this is cut content or if it's being saved for a future update. If it's not cut content and is in fact going to release in the future, when will that be? That's a big question we have. Will it be in the next major update when we get a role or role expansion or something of that like? Or could we see a more of a smaller update, sort of like how the Telegram missions were introduced a few weeks ago or even Outlaw Pass 5 this week? I think that's quite the realistic possibility here. But then of course, this could also be entirely different to what's in GTA Online. I'm just going off of everyone's idea that we have a very successful AAA title that's almost eight years old to look at to see where Rockstar is drawing its inspiration from. I'm just curious to hear your thoughts on this. I'd like to take this also a step further and question why this piece of content? Like, why does finding some treasure matter when we already have actual treasure chests to search for? We already have the collector role, which is all about you going around the world collecting and finding items. There's tons of things you can loot from houses and other structures across the map separate from the collector role. 
why would the player base be interested in more of that? Especially if it's going to only be like a few gold nuggets, like you completed a daily challenge or like 50 bucks or something. I think we would all much rather have it be a real rare item that we can actually use in game as opposed to just receiving more currency. So let's see some weapon variants or a special hat or a coat that can only be looted from one of these chests. Something more exciting than just more money and gold, which it seems like everyone has plenty of. How can these items fit into the overall lore of the online story? That's something I think even the most engaged players of this game would appreciate. Maybe there could be additional clues that will help us learn more of Jessica Leclerc and Horley's quest for revenge, or maybe we can use these items as a segue into what could be an expansion to the Collector, which at this point was a role expansion that Rockstar first discussed 13 months ago in February of 2020, and at least in any official capacity from Rockstar themselves, we haven't heard anything else about since. That's really what Rockstar should have their eye on here. That's the major problem with Outlaw Pass 5 as well, and why I think it fell really flat this week, even though we knew about it for months and months in advance. All of that really just to say, as much as I want it to be something grand and exciting for players both new and old, I personally don't think this will amount to anything more than just locations to get a quick bit of cash. And just like the Telegram missions, even though it's more and more that gets added to Red Dead Online, a significant portion of the player base will just immediately discard it because they think it's not substantial enough. Just something to think about. We have more leaks and info, that's why I want to know your thoughts. This video was supposed to be about half this length, but then I started thinking and got into a rhythm of writing more and more, and yeah, I just wanted to bring my thoughts to the table for discussion today. With all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing here. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos Hey, before you go, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you want to see more content from the channel, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash hazardous HDTV for more Red Dead Online live streams where we play the game together, Xbox, PlayStation, and PS4. We grind the game, we do stranger missions, bounties, legendary bounties, PvP, all fun types of content. I get to engage with you guys, and if you haven't had enough from the YouTube videos I upload during the week, we have live streams quite frequently over on Twitch. So thank you again so much for watching. I would love for you to follow me over to twitch.tv, and I hope to see you there.